Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of Maths A-Level. Here we're looking at quartic graphs, that's exercise 4b. So a quartic graph is just an extension of a cubic graph. We need an x to the 4 term in our equation now and we won't go any higher than this, don't worry. So what we're going to have basically is 4 roots and it's going to revert back to uh, a uh, x squared type looking graph. Um, the reason is, when x is a positive number, then x to the 4 is going to be a very positive number. So this is going to increase in gradient much quicker than we have seen previously. And also when x is minus 10, yes we're going to get a negative 1000 for the x cubed term, but we're going to get positive uh, 10,000 in the x to the 4 term, because a, quadra a quadruple negative is going to give us a positive. So it's going to end up way, way, way high up here, a very high point up here. It's more flat at the bases because we have to account for that scale going so high um, when x is, say, the value 10 or minus 10. So um, what we're going to get is um, up to three turning points in our graph. So it could look roughly something like this, um, or it could, when, when the term in front of the quartic term here is negative, so say minus x to the 4 uh, could be upside down as well. In general here we're either going to get um, 1, 2, 3 or 4 intersections with the x-axis depending upon repeated roots or at a maximum it's going to be 4, at a minimum it's only going to be, uh, well, it's going to be 0. Right, okay, so just like we did with the previous term, we're going to look for the roots of the quartic equation, plot those coordinates on the graph, and make sure our graph goes through all of those coordinates. So the roots are going to be when each of these brackets equals 0, because the y-coordinate needs to equal 0, so minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2. And we'll find out where it crosses the y-axis as well uh, when x is 0, so that's when y equals 4. So get your graph plot on your coordinates, y-axis intersection of 4, and then make sure it goes through all of these points. The coefficient on the x to the power of 4 term is going to be positive, because x times x times x is going to be positive x to the 4. So it's going to start from the top left and finish in the top right. Uh, so it's going to look something like this. Make sure you draw curvy lines the whole way through this. I don't want to see pointy lines at any point on this graph. Okay, so we also need to consider turning points as well, so uh, or, or repeated roots. Um, so in this case here, we're going to have three intersections with the x-axis: one at zero for this term here, one at two for the one well, minus two for this term here, and one at three for this term here. But remember that when x is minus 2, this is going to be our repeated root. So when it's a repeated root twice, it's just going to touch the graph and come back downwards or go back upwards if it started upwards. Repeated root is at minus 2. And when uh, it crosses the y-axis, it's going to be x equals 0. So y is going to be equal 0 if we plug in x equals 0 all the way along there. So plot your graph, plot on the three intersection points, and plot on the um, y-axis intersection. And we're going to get this sort of graph here. Now you can see here <coughs> that when x is minus 2, we get our repeated root. It's a quadratic style repeated root. So it's going to effectively look at like an x squared expression locally uh, around this minus 2. It's going to intersect through at 0 and intersect back down at 3. Now the reason it's upside down in this case here is because if you look at how we would expand to get the x to the power of 4 term, we're going to get x times x squared times minus x. So this is going to give us a minus x to the 4. So always check to see which way up your graph is going to be by, by uh, in your head, expanding the... Um, x to the 4 term um, to see whether you get a positive x to the 4 or a negative x to the 4. Right, so let's see another type of graph here. We have got two repeated roots here, both 1 and 3. 
Um, when x equals 0, we find the y-axis intersection at 9. And let's look at what we get for the x to the power 4 term. Here it's going to be x squared times x squared, so that's going to be x to the power 4. So a positive x to the power 4 graph. Now remember it's going to be repeated roots at both of these 1 and 3 uh, coordinates. It's x to the 4, so it's going to start in the top left, finish in the top right. And it's going to come down, uh, go through 9 on the y-axis, touch at 1, come back down, touch at 3, and go back upwards again. Right, okay, your turn. Then have a go at these sorts of questions here. Pause the video and try your best. Right, well done for having a go at these, uh, these questions then. Let's have a go at answering them. So, in this case here, what we're going to get is one solution at x equals 0, one repeated solution at x equals minus 1, and one solution at x equals minus 2. So, in this case here, we're going to have intersections at 0, a repeated at minus 1, and at minus 2. Um, what type of quadratic, uh, quartic graph is it? Well, it's going to be x times x squared times x, so that's going to be positive x to the power of 4, and it's going to repeat at minus 1. Where's it going to go through the y-axis when x equals 0? So we're going to get a 2. No, it's going to be 0, sorry, 0. When x equals 0, we put a 0 here. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's going to come down, intersect through this one, come back up, come back down, and go back up again. So this is going to be a repeated root at this coordinate here, so hence it's going to look like an x squared graph locally. What we're going to get for this second graph here is um, a repeated root at 0, a root at minus a quarter, a root at a quarter, What's the shape of the graph going to be? Well, it's going to be a 16x to the 4 graph, so very steep in this case here. <clears throat> Where's it going to cross through the y-axis? Well, when x is 0, so in this case it's 0. So it's going to come down, intersect through here, repeated root at 0, and back up again like that. Right, so thanks very much for watching the video. Now you need to go and have a go at questions from exercise 4b. So remember that watching the video is only 10% of their learning. 90% of the learning in this topic here is going to be you having a go at questions on your own. Make sure you persevere through those that are difficult and ask your teachers any questions that you have if you just can't do any. Right, so thanks for watching.